Hi, I'm Doug Patton, and this is Drafting Tools 101, where we take a look at many of the tools I use when drawing and drafting. In this episode, we're going to talk about the paper used in drafting. Paper is essential to drafting. Here's some questions you might ask yourself before you get started. Is this a doodle, sketch, or revision, or is this the final drawing? Will this drawing be scanned or framed or archived? Or would you like grids on the paper, and do you want them to show up in a scan or copy? So let's take a look at some of the options. Traditionally, a final drawing is made on archival quality paper so that the image endures and the paper remains crisp for years. When choosing paper, a few things are really important. One, the paper should contrast well with the colors of pen and pencil used. Two, it's important to use paper which is firm and not too flexible. This keeps the drawing intact longer. And three, if you're using a medium that's erasable, you want the paper to stand up well and thus limit streaks, ghost lines, smudges, and tears. There are several types of paper used for drafting. Wood-based papers, rag papers, tracing paper, vellum, and mylar. All of these take graphite, plastic lead, and ink, although each has qualities that make them more suitable with specific writing medium. Another important factor to consider with each paper type is whether you want to trace something or not. That's because each of these materials has a degree of transparency. And last, drafting paper is also available with grids printed directly on it. This can be useful as a frame of reference when scaling objects or tracing or simply making sure your new lines are running perfectly horizontal or vertical. Before we wrap up, a trick of the trade. Architects use trace a lot to sketch. You can take a triangular scale to make clean tears by holding the scale against the roll and then pulling up on the paper. I also use a scale as a quick paperweight when I sketch, but when I draft, tape, or drafting dots are the best solution. Architects are somewhat famous for their sketches on napkins. Now, I've never done that, but I've grabbed a piece of paper out of the printer from time to time just to get an idea down. But ideally, it's important to give some thought to the drawing surface you use in order to make your work look its best and stay that way. So thanks for watching and join us next time as we take another look at the wonderful world of drafting tools.